Meet a team of MIT students who invented the new technology for harnessing energy from friction. This technology promises an unprecedented efficiency ratio, which makes the students very excited. They even created a self-powering skateboard to demonstrate what the technology can do. Start by brainstorming. Throw every idea at the wall, including the crazy ones. Don't worry about analyzing and especially criticizing ideas. At this point, keep your aperture wide open. Identify potential industries for your idea. In the case of the friction energy technology invented by our students, potential industries could be the automotive industry, sports, electronics, healthcare, energy, and architecture, to name a few. Subdivide each industry into markets and market segments. This gives specificity and structure to your process. Let's take the automotive industry as an example. This industry could be broken down into three key markets. The market for non-electric vehicles, hybrids, and electric vehicles. And each of these markets contains market segments such as sedans, sports cars, SUVs, trucks, RVs, and motorcycles. List the people who may benefit from your idea in each industry and ideally in each market segment. Focus first on end users, not customers. Your end user is a person who uses your product. Your customer pays for it. So far, our student entrepreneurs identified two main categories of end users. Those in the pre-production stage such as design engineers and assembly engineers, and those in the post-production stage, such as maintenance engineers and auto enthusiasts. Once you have identified the end users, describe the various tasks that they perform and how they would use your product. Your next task is to narrow the field. List the top six to 12 market segments that are most interesting. As with many things in life, your limiting factor is time. You should research and analyze prospective markets in depth, but you do not have unlimited time to consider all options. So 6 to 12 opportunities is more than enough. After that, your next step is primary market research. In other words, go and talk to some real people. Theory doesn't produce data, action does.